Good afternoon, everybody. Come on in. As you can see, I got some chopped up veggies. And guess what I'm getting ready to do? I'm getting ready to cook the best pot of pinto beans, turkey tails, and necks with potatoes and, of course, the veggies. This is my own little recipe. We're in the test kitchen again, as usual. Okay, so I hope that you're having a God-blessed Friday afternoon i certainly am the weather here is overcast but it feels so good it's not cold i think it's about 60 degrees so that's perfect weather for me um i'm gonna be using my ninja foodie i'm inspired to do these beans by my son uh, when we went oops sorry about that y'all y'all know i had to get a little glitch in uh my son was doing the beans at his home what a couple weeks ago so i'm inspired to do beans today and uh, <clears throat> as you know, beans are very, very healthy. I'm not going to be putting any salt in these beans, by the way. Now, the salt that we'll have in them will be from the smoked turkey because, you know, they have some uh, salt content. So I'm not going to be putting any, uh, going to be putting um, any extra salt in them. So we're just going to let them season from that. And um, I am going to be using some of this good old, uh, let me see my masala curry powder it's mild and it's spicy so i'm not going to use a lot um of course this is compliments of my two of my favorite people from uh africa from fatima and Ghadija. so hey ladies how are you hope you're doing well i'm going to be using your seasoning uh to season these beans up um so I know they're going to be good, but I can't use a lot because I already know, honey, these folk got tender mouth around here. I wish if I could just dump a lot because, you know, this uh, season here has all of my favorite ingredients, in, especially that curry. And, um, it has, uh, let's see. Oh, it's in another language. I can't read that language. I don't, well, you know, no, no, no. It has... I can't read for one thing. Coriander, onion, turmeric. Oh, it has a number of ingredients. All the ingredients that I love, anyway. So, anyway, I'm gonna be. I'm probably gonna use about a tea or a tablespoon of that. And as you can see on the back here, there is a beef and butter bean curry. Now, y'all know that's good. I'm gonna add um, a little bit of um, extra curry in there so i can cut the amount of this because i want this to last forever y'all know that because i don't know when i'll be able to get it again so let's go on with these beans what i'm going to do is, uh, you know with the uh ninja food you just put everything into uh the pot and just put it on start it and it only takes about 30 minutes now um this is the pan that it goes in so this is a good size pan I'm going to add four cups of water in there. So I'm just going to go ahead, let's see, because I need to be able to make sure I can get all those turkey. Yeah, I think they'll all fit in there. Maybe I'll take one or two of the huge ones out. These are huge. The turkey necks are huge. I couldn't figure, I can't not find my meat cleaver, so I wasn't able to chop them up. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and start putting all of uh, the, everything in there. I've got... Uh, a couple pounds of turkey tails. Y'all, I call them turkey butts. They're turkey tails. And then the nice turkey necks. And all this is smoked. It's well seasoned. That is one large onion. Uh, that's uh, a medium green pepper. I'm just going to dump everything in. I don't guess it matters what order it goes in. And I've got some nice potatoes that I'm putting in here. Um, and I'll put my beans in last. Them out of there. I need my measuring cup. Now I've had my pinto beans soaking for about, for about six or eight hours. So I'm going to give them one more little squeeze there. And then I'm going to go ahead and put them in to the pot. But first, let me get my potatoes in. These potatoes are those little potatoes you buy in the packet that they tell you you can go ahead and just cook them. You don't have to uh, take them out of the bag. They are really good. I didn't even peel them. So I'm just going to dump them right in there. Just to give uh, the pot a little bit of extra. Mm. So we're going to have one of those good old Indian curry dishes here today with that. 
Okay, I'm just going to pour my beans right on in there. And I am going to put, I think I'm going to cover them with water. By the way, this is a one pound bag of beans that I got going. So I'm just going to take and stir everything up just like so. I think this is perfect. I am so excited that my son gave me this big size um, crock pot. Or food ninja, rather. He gave me the big one, so I'm excited about that. Because this holds a lot of food. Like I said, I'm going to put 30 minutes on it. I'm just going to let it cook. Um, I should have sauteed my peppers and onions, but I didn't this time. Kind of sort of forgot. But I'm going to put just a tablespoon of that seasoning in there. I don't think it'll make it too hot. Um, hope y'all got something good going on today. I'm going to give this about a, a teaspoon of uh, that Gold Mountain seasoning in there. This is going to be a really an international dish by the time I get through dumping uh, seasoning in. Now, I need to put some garlic in here also. So, you can either put a couple of tablespoons of garlic or maybe a couple of cloves. I'm not sure if I got a couple of cloves. I got cloves I'll put fresh. If not, I'll put just powder. Um, well, I do. I have a couple of cloves. But these are so small. I like to dig them here. Yeah, these are small. So, I'm going to go right into the... Uh, cabinet there and I grabbed out the garlic powder. So and I'm gonna put about a half a teaspoon. I'm not gonna put a lot of black pepper, but I like black pepper in because I don't want uh, the beans to get too hot. I don't want them to be you know hot to the taste. Too spicy hot. So we're gonna put about a good old tablespoon of uh, garlic powder in there. A nice tablespoon. And I'm gonna put me a tablespoon of parsley flakes in there. You know all this just adds to the flavor so you don't have to put a lot of salt you know the more spices you put the less salt content you have to do okay so i'm gonna go over here and i'm gonna get me a little bit of turmeric matter of fact i need to go back to the health food stores i call it oh i'm almost out of turmeric what is this am i out of turmeric let's see that's my turmeric bag out. Okay. So that was about a, a half a teaspoon of turmeric. I'm just going to give everything a good old stir, y'all. And then I'm going to go ahead and put, uh, we'll see how much water we have to put in here to get these going. Mm. You know what? If these were done, we could eat them now. They smell so wonderful, y'all. And, um, you know, with this dish, as I was, when I went to the Piggly Wiggly to buy my, um, turkey necks and necks and tails I was thinking to myself boy it would be nice if I had something green to throw in there so I thought I resisted the temptation to buy some um to buy any um I was thinking about trying to buy Brussels sprouts but I think they get mushy going in so I behaved and did it myself and I didn't buy any didn't purchase any at all so let's see how much water we're going to need to go in here now, my thing here holds eight cups. Let's see. It took all eight cups. This is a huge container. This is a... Okay, I've got it to the max. That's all I can put, y'all. You can put, I think this is 18, eight cups. Okay, I've got it to the max, y'all. Pretty much got everything covered. I'm going to go ahead now and get it over here and put it on this stand or it's a pedestal, whatever you want to call it. And uh, we're going to get it going here. Now, I'm hoping and praying. Hmm. Seasoning is there, y'all. Oh, my God. Don't even want to salt it. But when that, um, all those juices cook into that meat that's in there, it's going to season and I 
I'm thinking it's going to be just enough salt that I don't have to add any more salt to it. Um, one thing that I think I am going to add there, and just a little bit, is that uh, the Goya seasoning. Um, let's see what's in it. You know, I really don't even know what's in it. <coughs> What's uh, in that Goya seasoning? Let's, let's just look back here and see. Let's see. Unique seasoning. What all does it have in it? It has grr, probably got MSG in it. Since I, I don't have any complete seasoning, so I'm going to go ahead and put uh, one pack, just one pack. I'm just gonna, I'm going to put a packet of that in there. It smells wonderful, y'all. These spices are awesome. Okay. So, I got everything in there. And I am going to go ahead and get it over here and get it over to the stand. Let's get the camera going over first. Let's get the camera right over here where the There it is, where the cooker is. So I'm having to, let's see, maybe if I turn it around the other way, let's see what's going in. Well, can't really do it that way either. So I'm going to do it this way. Oh, oh my utensils, get my utensils out of the way. So what I'm going to do is put it like that. And here I come with the insert. Now that is a great big nice pot. Isn't that beautiful? It looks like almost like a vegetable soup, y'all. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it locked down here. Let's see if I think this is the front. Hmm, what is this on now? Yeah. I think this is it. Why does that not feel right, y'all? Let's, let's get it going this way. Is in the way. Y'all give me a sec. Okay, y'all, I got it locked on, so I'm, we're going to do a uh, pressure, and we want it on high, and we want to do, we're going to do 30 minutes, because that's a lot of stuff in there, so we're going to do 30 minutes, and we're going to hit start. And we'll see what happens in 30 minutes. We'll be back and we'll do the great reveal, y'all. So give me 30 minutes and I'll be right back. And listen, while I'm gone, go ahead and get yourself started. Uh, I gave y'all all the instructions. So we should be able to uh, end up in the kitchen at the table about the same time, y'all. Thanks for tuning in with me. And I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, I'm back. The beans appear to be ready. So let's take a spoon and we're going to taste of them and see they look and smell wonderful. Okay, these beans look ready. They really do. I'm just going to take and stir them a little bit. I'm going to make sure the beans are nice and soft. Um, got a good amount of juice in there. I don't mind the juice at all. Let's get, what we're going to do is get some of everything in my bowl here. Get a few little beans. Okay, that looks yummy, y'all. See, the potatoes are done. All oh, the meat's done, so I'm assuming this, these beans gotta be done. Let's see. Perfect. Doesn't need any more salt in it. Doesn't need any more seasoning of any kind in it. So, these beans were a success, y'all. 
So thanks to my son for showing me how to do beans and the foodie ninja. Now, let's see. Yum, yum. Those are wonderful. So, it's almost like a big old pot of, oh my God, that season's so wonderful. And I've got some of that French bread that I'm going to eat these with. And you know, when I eat beans like this, I like to dip my uh, bread into that juice. So I'm going to leave all that juice. I know Big John demonstrated his, how he made his juice a little bit thicker. You can do that if you like. But I think after they sit for a while and, um, they, you know, put them in the refrigerator for a while, they these beans will thicken up right on their own. Look at all those wonderful seasonings. My parsley in there. Mm, that's good, y'all. That meat is good and tender. The beans are nice and tender. Everything is just great. Just great. I'm having a ball with this. And potatoes, you would think, because potatoes are softer, and the meat and the beans are tougher, that they would have, but they just cook just right. Mm. Yum, yum. So, thank y'all for tuning in. Go ahead and look at the video again. Get that recipe down pat. Now, you know, uh, sometimes beans will have a little husk. And I say it's just a little skin. If you want those beans just cook all the way, all the way down, I'm fine with this the way they are because you're going to reheat them when you eat them again. You're going to... Um, let them sit there in that juice and they'll continue to get tender and you know how you can every once in a while just one or two beans might have a little spot that didn't get completely but these are wonderful i love them the flavor is perfect the season is perfect oh they're good okay y'all listen continue to pray reconcile those differences with family and friends if you have any pray without ceasing y'all because this world is still in the need of prayer. There are individuals, especially the Bryant family out there in California, those that those families along with them as well are in the need of prayer. So thank you guys so much for tuning in with me. Thank y'all for loving me and for caring for me and for keeping up with me and continuing to uh, pray for me as I um, <clears throat> go through my, I'm in two rehab situations now. But you know what? God's got it all, and I am grateful and thankful, so I'm just going to give God the glory, claim my healing, and keep it moving. So, until I decide to cook again, thank you guys so much. Keep those prayers going up, so the blessings will continue to come down. And again, thank you, my dear sisters, um, Fatima and Gadija, for this beautiful seasoning. It made these beans taste perfect. So, thanks again. Love you guys. And until I cook again, probably on the flavor train on Sunday, I'm uploading, by the way, a few videos that I had just sitting in my camera when I was having a problem. So you might get two or three videos from me all today. Uh, we'll see how that works out. But anywho, y'all, thanks for tuning in. Love you guys. And until I cook again now, keep the prayers going up so the blessings will continue to come down to the loo. Oh, and Big John, the beans, thank you for introducing me to how these beans are cooked so well in this Foodie Ninja. I'm saying that that's to my son. He gave me the Foodie Ninja, showed me how to use it to do beans, and it is working, honey. I'm going to bean these folks right on off the planet because these beans are really good. So, love you guys. And until I cook again now, toodaloo.